All right, folks. How are in? Right the step. So here we are. Um, where to start? Look over there. Bit of a tip. I need my fence fixing. This way, I don't know if you'll see very well because of the sun. Uh, I thought so. Here, my compost bin, well, my muck bin. Pretty much a star, star yard. There's lots of stuff I've been given to do jobs with in the garden. Down here. Now here, we have strawberries. Now these strawberries, I've had probably ten years. They were stuck in on them little strawberry planters and nearly died every year because I kept forgetting to water them. And last year I chucked them in these two container things. Sorry about that there. And they've rammed away. No frost damage, or that I can see. And I have some canny strawberries off them I think this year. So I'm quite impressed. This bed, there's some more wood there I've been given. As my yard ma used to say, shy bairns getting out. This bed, pretty clay, but ideal for brassicas and stuff, although you do cut rotation, you know, but that besides the buy. This, onions. Now these onions were planted about June last year. Now if you look, it could be lack of water, but it was purely an experiment. I'd been looking for banana shallots for years. I never thought of looking on Google or getting them off the internet or anything. It was just my local shops I ever used. Never ever had them. So I thought, right, I'll go commit myself. I got some online. And lo and behold, they work, can he? But obviously I put them in the wrong time of year. So you've got them there like that. Now, let's see, it could be water. What, sorry, water. Lack of. Or just because they've been in two years. It's like a two season thing for onions, isn't it? I used to do it with seed exhibition onions years ago. I've been a lot of tearing. It's a posh word, isn't it? Been a lot of tearing for. Oh, since the 80s. When I first left school. Along here, you can see my straw bales. Them I planted in last year, got some canny good results. You condition them first and then it's like giant bales of compost. Water was the problem. We have pipe water in these allotments and it's intermittent. Sometimes it gets switched off because of leaks. So I lost, I got a few peppers, but most of it I lost. These bags here are taties or chetties as we call them around here loads of bags and some big boats I ideally want some of them 30 litre bucket things but I don't know locally where's the best place to get them them beds is reasonably done but my plan this year is well I'll show you in the corner I'm not digging this year I've given up I can't dig anymore so come in here this is my little hot house I'll open the door first and then we go in. Da -da. Oh, you can't see very well, I'm not too close. Right, I will go in anyway. Let me look for me. Straw bales again, this year's. No, I haven't been watering them very much yet, so they're not. They're, they're being dampened, but they're not really brilliant. Now, there is 25 degrees, I believe. Yep, centigrade that is. Don't believe in Celsius. And here's the temperature on here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Hope you can. It gets quite extreme in here. It's 46 it was today, down to 3.9 on a night. Oh, sorry. 3.9 on a night. It's now. 32 in it. I can't believe that. It doesn't feel like 32 in here. 
I'm not sorry, I've still got you on the tripod. A couple of tumbling tom tomatoes, and that one in the middle now, you can see there, that is Cuddy Rut. I'll not tell you the other name for it, see if you can guess. Diablo pepper. Diablo peppers. I'm sorry it's a bit slanty, I should take you off of you really. Um, hang on, I'll take you off. Right, I've got some garlic, no sorry, I've got some ginger in there, some turmeric in there, and that's another ginger. One's from the shop and one's a proper one you grow from Wilco's. I've also got some ginger in there, somebody I watched on YouTube said leave it in water till you start getting roots. I don't know if that's going to work but I'm prepared to give it a try. The beer. Good old Boddington's, used to drink that in the army. And old Golden Hen, which I've never heard of, is for these. Which look like little pill boxes. I'll put it down on there so you can see. Now, slope traps basically, but I'm absolutely plagued. Totally with slugs. I've tried nematodes. They reckon you use water, well, later it's rained, which I did, and then the next two weeks was bone dry, so if there was any that survived, they all died. This lemongrass, hang on, sorry, can you see? Can you, yeah, can you see there? Lemongrass, it's been in here about a month, but it's well away now, so it needs planting on desperate. I'm always behind, no matter what I do, all, all the plants. Plans of mice and men and all that. Is that was that what they say? And a tiny little jetty in there. You see? There, look. And I might give that a try, like what Tony's doing off UK Here We Grow. Might. But I'll show you the other ones from the further round. Right, the garlic. Blue Star Dave, Dave Mara. garlic elephant garlic and there's another one in there put them in the beginning of last year nothing really worked so I thought this year I'm gonna leave them in to see if I can work out when's the best time to put them in everyone reckons autumn but we don't really get any proper cold weather for them to like get a bit of a frost so I don't know these are shallots which I just never got out so this bed's really pretty much going to be cleared. Me bean. Climb. Climber. Beans in there every year. Always put me in there. This down here is where I always put me peas. I don't really ro rotate them. I never have. This is about my best bed. And it doesn't look much at the moment. But that soil is like flour. And I still kind of dig it. But that there is a load of muck, well, it's in a load, a bin, green bin full of muck which I managed to acquire from along the top of the site where somebody had dumped. Um, right, that's the only shed I've got on site there, and it leaks like a sieve. probably for the, the sun here but apple trees and cherry trees I know they should be in they will be hopefully by next week I saw container what's well, going to be moved because I've got plans which I'll show you hopefully in a future video this here in amongst all the grass was here when I got come on this site by on this allotment about oh let me think 98 I think 98 uh, well possibly 
Maybe it's a year or two later, I'm not sure. So I left it. I never ever got any ghost cogs off it. But after a bit of looking into things, look. Found out why. I used to think they were like little caterpillars. You can't say that, can you? Sorry. Well, you can't say because there isn't any leaves. Absolutely decimated. Part of it's all right because I managed to save it this year. Believe it or not. Right, now I'm going to turn around and show you in my polytunnel. Now, please, please don't laugh, right? It's a tip. I wasn't going to show you it kind of the state of it, but I think we should start as you mean to go on and it'll give me an incentive to get it tidied out. Plus I've got plants that need to be potted on in here anyway, so are you ready? Ignore the mess, please, because it's an ongoing project. It's only took so many years and it's... <laughs> da -da! Little and often. Do a little and do it often. Sean's motto and I'm sticking to it. Right, obviously my polytunnel. I need to fix the door, not a problem, and I might put a piece of plastic up at the window. I do like some floor through, but now these two beds, obviously there's just loads of stuff in here at the moment which shouldn't be in. Reason being, it's a store yard in the winter. Now I'll quickly show you these plants. Because we're probably getting on a bit. And I, I will promise to do more videos. Diablo peppers. In the green trays. Well the thin green trays. That one is San Mazzano 2. Prefer San Mazzano but kind of get them for love and money anywhere. A couple of cucumbers. I think they're the gherkin ones. I'm not sure. I think the other ones died so I've got to redo some. Capra. Banana shallots, which is what I've got up there, what I've gone to seed. Onions, and in the very end one, a couple of variants of tomatoes. Some golden, golden delicious, no that's the apple man. Some gardener's delight, and some small plums I think. We'll, we'll sharp find out once they start growing. Leeks. Let's see, these beds... I'm going to do all properly. I'll show you again with a different video because I need some advice off you. Right, in here we've got a couple of taties, chetties, uh, potatoes, potato, potato. They are off what I'll call a chip a chetty challenge. idea was, oh, somebody will know who will remain nameless, decided to do a challenge where, you, say if you could grow a tater, I mean most of you will know this anyway, where you can grow a tater from a bit of potato peel. I had some taters in the cupboard, what had produced a little bit of a shoot, but it was slightly green on the top with some roots coming off it, so I just plucked that off, planted that into them two pots. Bit small, but coming on canny. The corner ones there are goose gogs. That one had to plant up because it was rotten a bit. Black currants, red currants. Now these red currants, if you notice this one here, where are we? There, look. I come along on the morning, everything was fine. Come along on the afternoon, hardly a leaf on the thing left. Sawfly, which is what keeps being, keeps getting that one out there. So I think I'm going to have to move it. I don't know the cycle and obviously I think they live in the ground. So they're going to have to come out. No two ways about it. And I think, I can't remember, sorry. That's a flower. I don't really do flowers. I can't remember if it's a dahlia or a... It looks like a dahlia. True to dahlia. I had a few but I think that's the only ones that's come through. The other little pot there no idea till it comes through. I know I'm going to start having to do labelling properly. I've got some yellow tape and I'm going to do like what Muddy Boots does. I think he's an excellent allotment tier and YouTuber 
and his ideas are brilliant. Not that saying a lot of your others are not, because I normally just sit and watch a load and load of you. That's mint. Julie, if you were watching, this is an idea I had because I can't be, well, oh, well, I'll be truthful, sometimes I can't be bothered, I have health problems, so sometimes I can't be bothered to come along on water, or I'm not fit enough. This was an idea using a pop bottle, just to see if it worked, and it works brilliant, look at the growth. I might only water that once a week, the roots is going mad, I mean it's decent compost. But let's see, comp talking the compost just quickly. These, I used a bag of compost from last year. Now I don't know, does it go off? I've never had the trouble before, but, and I mean it was probably a bit cold as well, but they were just stuck. The first leaves come through and then I had nothing for ages. I Even my other lot, which I did along home at the beginning of March, just got the first first two leaves and then I got nothing else that one in that little one in the hothouse that's one of them and it hasn't got much bigger that should be six inches easy high with a good top but it's not so we'll leave it at that for now this video is just to show you the gist of what's what's what and like I say sorry for spinning you around there like that I just nearly fell out uh, I know what a tip, and it will get sorted, I promise. Well, it'll have to, because I've got plants to go in, and I need them to go in very soon. So, we'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching, folks. Oh, no. Before I go, I've got a few different cameras. Now, ideally, my Canon DS, Canon D7, sorry, would be ideal best quality I would think out of a lot of them but it records in MOV files the la I tried doing things like this about five years ago and I absolutely give up because nothing could convert MOV files without me having to pay and I, I don't have a lot of money so I wasn't going to pay for a program I would use once a blue moon things have changed like so I maybe we'll get Lightworks Pro I don't know we'll see I don't know what to do yet so I say this is the video using one of the cameras. If I can do it, I'll put a little one down in the bottom right hand corner and then the other video camera I'll use two and then my little no pro thing I'll use three. And I want your advice to which one you think works the best. Please. I know when I once I upload if I get them uploaded, once they're uploaded, they'll probably look exactly the same because I don't know how to do half of that. Hell of a learning curve. But that'll do for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Right, again, folks. I'll number this one if I can do it, too. This is me, no pro, as I like to call it. Now, obviously, angle-wise, it's much better because I can't get in close with the other one. But I haven't got a wide-angle lens for me, day seven, so that's not going to work. Anyway. I'm going to show you my problems in the polytunnel with it. There's I've got leaks all over. And I, I know if you look at the, the wires, the pipes, there's bendy as hell, like a banana boat. It's fixable, but I wanted to get it up quick and I put it up a can of a year ago and it's done all right. It's only got a couple of rips in because the plastic's not tight, apparently. Now there's way around that and I've got this roof and lats to sort that but I'm not doing it until the plastic's beyond repair and then I'll change it all out so let's see that thing what I'm thinking for Julie's a canny idea using just old pop bottles there you go look stick your pop bottle not in the bin in your barra bring it along the garden cut the top off to a point turn it upside down put it inside itself a little bit of capillary matting, which I, I'd heard of, but I'd never used. And you'll see later, hopefully, my plans I've got for that. Stuff there you've already seen. Now this. Coir. Coconut husks. In the UK, yeah, we have a shop called Home Bargains. 
I'm normally a cup of quid for 50 litres compressed there, look. They haven't got anything at the moment. Or well, mine, mine hasn't. But what I did with that, I'll just, we'll go outside and I'll show you. I inherited a couple of old wheelbars here, look. Eh, wheelbars? Inherited a couple of old baths. Well, in fact, there's about four or five on the garden, to be honest. That one there on the left fills full of water and it was like pea soup. So I chucked a load of the coir in it, or the coconut husks, it's easy to say. Chucked a load of coconut husks in, I can't even say it now. Chucked a load of the coir in. Tread it with fertiliser and different bits and pieces and just left it to soak and soak and soak. And it's gone all green, so obviously something's grown. The right hand side one, they were bone dry, there was a hole in the bottom of the bath, the bath so it all just trickles out. We just chucked in and left over winter. The rain has produced perfect crumbly compost. A couple of little weeds need to be brought out, but other than that, it's absolutely fine. Hang on, a couple of snails here. Look. I know the birds should have them, but anyway, back to the trees. If I go around this side. And I know there should be in the garden, I promise there will be. Um, these two are... I can't remember, I've got the label somewhere, which it's only on cardboard so it keeps flap, flapping away. The cherry trees don't look too bad. They're a bit hard, so I don't know. They'll, they'll go in, I might get some for next year. And these straw bills. All the way along here. These are going to be my attempt. Once I put some seeds and things in, my attempt will be to use these as ground cover. So I'm going to try no dig gardening this year. Well, that would be interesting to hang around for. <laughs> we'll see. Apple tree was quite big. I had to cover it back down because the rats were starting to eat the tree. Never mind just the... Um, Apples. I've never got a single apple off it this year. Last year, sorry. Uh, let's have a look. It seems pretty solid. But you have that thing called June drop, don't you? So I might lose it. It'll regrow. I'm not the best gardener in the world when it comes to fruit and flowers. Pear tree. I had to hack that back so it chronic because it was blown backwards and forwards. And it didn't half grow. I didn't think they grew so quick. Three more apple trees. Braemar, Braeburn, I think they are them. Mm. And up here, which I've, I've got some old pictures to show you if I can find them. This is just an old wonky shed here. And these suddenly appeared. I thought, what? What are they? And then I realised they were. Raspberries. I got a hell of a crop last year, so I thought I want to leave them. Gonna come, can he? But then some of them, well, apparently all of them spread, so they're going far too far. I didn't want them all over the place. I only want like a little section. This heap here. See this heap? That's going to get flattened out. All this area here. It's going to be weeded with vinegar and water, so I can see where I am. Weed control put down, and it's going to be my fruit area. Because I can't um, keep on top of it all, I'm not fit enough. Like I say, this just looks like a tip, but I've got plans. This copex, I'm eventually want to make a shed and then put in a small miniature rocket stove with it in the shed come half greenhouse kind of thing with the pipe exhaust pipe going underneath the platform to grow in hopefully it'll work and like I say these I don't know possibly because of lack of water I mean they're edible I suppose there of water. I'll have a little hard bit in the middle, but I don't know, we'll eat them. We'll try them anyway. 
But reasonably impressed considering they were put in at totally the wrong time and everything. Well, I'm going to have another look up here. It's, it's this is more just for quality. I want to be able to tell, see if you can tell the difference. Now, obviously there, I don't know if you'll be able to see the stamens and things on the flower. I don't know. I hope you can. That's two there. So we'll leave it at that for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Right, let's see, here we go. This is the third camera I might possibly use. Let's see, I'm not 100% sure yet. Sorry, it's a bit jerky. I want to try and show you where there's some leaves on the gooseberry and some not there. Obviously, uh, well, you know, I, I think I'll just end up digging them out and hiring them. Oh, the camera quality is like. Nice flow away. Oh, it's out there now. Well, like I say, in here again, let's go. Obviously, you know the mess. This time, I want to show you a close up with this camera of the peppers and me tomatoes. Now, to me, they should be much, much bigger. And like I say, I think it's the compost. I really do. So, I really would like your advice if you can tell me. Does can compost go off? Tomatoes. And a couple of weeds, because um, I've got a thing to show you. I use what's called soil blocks. But I've been having a bit bother with the mix. It doesn't stop together very well. But I'll show you that another day. I don't want to make this video too long. Let's see them ones. They're grown, just not like they should be. Oh, anyway, let's leave that like what we are. I know we're in my shadow there, can't help that. Come out of there again, like that. So, here again, tomatoes, peppers. Uh, sorry, tomatoes. What am I on about? Chetties, gooseberries, black cones, red cones. Or some rosemary there, which is about dead. I keep putting some, some in along home. I only live 120 yards away, if that. But kids next door keep kicking the ball over the fence and smash. So I, I, I haven't bothered this year. I thought I'll have to try it in the garden. See what happens. Anyway. Let's see, this is just a, this quality looks better on back of the camera, but I don't know. It's once it's uploaded, that's when we're going to say the difference. Hopefully, you'll say the difference. So, we'll leave it for now. Hopefully, I'll get this uploaded and you can give me all your advice because I desperately need it. I haven't got a clue what to use because apparently, Lightworks unpaid doesn't let you upgrade, upload at the full quality. Actually, I'll show you that. Can you see that, the fence? That, all that rhubarb there was four little plants. Uh, it was a big plant where I chopped up into bits and chucked down there. It's flowered every year I've put that out since I put it in. And it's, I didn't even take any stalks the first year. But it's still flowered. Mm. Oh, it, I mean, it flowers every year. It must be ancient. It's bloody massive, I know. It's like a triffid. Took some digging out, I know. But I get a mate to do it, I know. A part of it. So, like I say, this is just a thing for the quality. I hope you can help. Thanks for watching.